just got back from doing Ruby's Pantries in June haul. Um, I only got one share this month. For $20, you can get as many shares as you want. If you don't know what Ruby's Pantry is, it's a nonprofit organization that prevents food waste. Some months you get a ton of food for that $20. This month, we didn't get maybe a fourth of what I normally get, but it's still more than the $20. So it's still worth it and it helps feed the family and stretches the food budget. But if you live in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and I think South or North Dakota, they're opening sites. Um, go to rubiespantry.org and check them out. But I will show you what I got this month for the $20. So this is what we got this month. Like I said, it's not even a fourth of what we typically, typically get. But it's still way more than the $20. So it, it does help us out quite a bit. And the low amount like this only happens maybe twice a year. So it totally evens itself out. Um, I did get a quart of low fat milk. It doesn't expire till the 24th. This organic 2% milk expires on the 16th. And the organic whole milk expires on the 23rd. So these will go in the freezer. So I don't even worry about the expiration dates because the expiration expiration date hasn't hit yet and when I freeze them it kind of stops at expiration date so I've never had an issue with freezing my milk and then thawing it past the expiration date and then we got a pack of hot dog buns one pack of these 110 calorie bagel thins um I will probably do um, homemade pizzas with these for lunch or something one day because I already have the cheese and the pizza sauce. I got a loaf of the 12 grain Sara Lee bread and they gave us four of these cookie dough bites. I guess it's a candy so um, I got four of those. I got one bag of sour cream and chives chips. And then, what's this? The Fiber One Value Pack of the Lemon Soft Baked Bars. There's 12 in there. And then I got two of these um, salamis, Old Forest. So there's two of those. So those would be good for snacking for the kiddos at lunch. This is a five pound bag um, of regular thin cut french fries. I can kind of feel them through the bag on what they are. And then they did give us six drinks, one Diet Pepsi, one Mountain Dew, and four of the Peach Mango Sparkling Waters. And then they gave us two Mama Cozy's Rising Crust Pizzas, and they're both pepperoni. And I know I've bought these at Aldi before, and these are at least $5 for one. So right there is 10 of that 20 that this was. Two bags of the cracked pepper, sunflower seeds, um, let's see, peppermint bark, energy bars, two of those, oatmeal raisin baked with sweet veggies, they're bitsy good cookies, so we'll try those, never had those, and then two of these, I've never seen these before, so that's it, dark chocolate banana truffle it's made with 64 percent cocoa so in the ingredients yeah, that's probably good and then one old el paso spicy cheddar taco shells and then a package of bagels these are the whole grain vegetable bagels um it says cauliflower at the top so we'll give those a try. May use them for mini pizzas too. And then we got this big, well this has got to be at least five pounds. This is Canadian bacon and they're kind of in chunks. So what I will do is thaw these out and try and slice them a little thinner. We'll use them for sandwiches, pizzas, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, like I said, there wasn't a ton of stuff this month, but still well more than $20. And it stretches the food budget. And if you go back... At my previous hauls, you can see that 99% of the time, there is way, way a lot of food. So, 
um, for what we got today, still well worth the $20, and it helps us out with our food budget.